Hey Super Fruits, Alex here with your weekly dose of Top 5 Shorts, the show where I round up the latest videos here on Barcroft TV, then check out what you're saying about them on social media and what's got the comments columns buzzing. I've also got an exclusive this week. I'm finally going to be revealing the identity of the mysterious Barcroft voiceover guy, so stick around for that. First up, Jaws dropping footage of the shark addicts, aka Randy Jordan and Cameron Nimmo. The pair use pliers to remove fishermen's hooks from the skin, noses and even mouths of sharks, flipping them upside down to put them in a kind of trance known as tonic immobility. So top move to counteract a shark attack, flip it over like a pancake, who knew? Loads of love over on YouTube for what the shark addicts are doing, where user Uncurable Kill says, just don't understand why people think sharks are so dangerous. I think an iconic film called Jaws might have had a little something to do with that. Caught on camera and sneaking in at four, it's some amazing footage of a jaguar sneaking up on a caiman. This particular big cat has demonstrated that he loves the taste of reptile before, in a previous video that we shared that was watched by over 8 million YouTubers. How do we know it's the exact same Jaguar? Well, if you look closely, you'll spot he's blind in his right eye and it's all pink and scarred. He's actually quite the top cat in his neighbourhood and really well known amongst locals in Western Brazil. Speaking of Brazilian celebrities, in at three is a guy who, when he looks at his own reflection, almost sees the man in the mirror. 32-year-old Antonio Gleadson Rodriguez from Fortaleza in Brazil is a Michael Jackson impersonator who's had all sorts of surgery in an effort to look more like the king of pop. Arguments are kicking off all over the net as to how closely this guy actually resembles his idol and whether his moonwalk is convincing or not. Now personally, I'd like to hear him sing a whole Jacko song and I'll reserve my judgement until I know whether he's any good at bad. <laughs> Fire in the hole! Aiming her sights at the number two spot is Bunny Hunter. Don't worry though, no rabbits were harmed in the making of this clip. Instead, Bunny is a female survivalist who thinks that women should carry guns and learn how to use firearms to defend themselves. Here at Barcroft, you know we never shy away from sharing stories that spark off really strong opinions, and the Bunny Hunter video has started a whole horde of debates. Does having a gun mean you're more likely to be involved in violence? What about accidents? Does it matter at all that Bunny's a woman? And is carrying a firearm just a fair way to protect yourself? If you've got anything to say about these important topics, log on and get involved in the conversation. Soaring in at the number one spot this week, it's a video I love! It's the flying rhino! This shows a critically endangered black rhino being transported to a new territory in an attempt to expand the population. I think all the helicopters make it look kind of like it's in the A-team though. And then it's wearing that blindfold that sort of gives the impression it's doing a David Blaine style stunt. Plus it's so cute when it's all groggy. To answer some of your questions about the video, the reason the rhinos are transported by a copter rather than being driven around in a truck is just that it makes the journey a heck of a lot faster. Generally the animals are only in the air for about 10 minutes. This means that less anaesthetic needs to be used because the rhinos only have to be knocked out for a short period of time. That means they come round faster and they start eating and doing happy rhino stuff again. As for the blindfold, that's to stop them getting the shock of their lives if they accidentally wake up while they're swinging through the sky. Although that really shouldn't happen. That's this week's top five shorts sorted, but let's take a look at what's coming up. Get the whole picture on what's happening there next week. Now is my privilege to reveal the truth behind one of the biggest mysteries of Barcroft TV, the identity of our famous voiceover guy. Your guesses as to who it was in our thank you video absolutely poured in, but hardly any of you were right. The answer is at 1 minute 27, it's Ian Phillips. Another big thank you goes out to everyone who suggested the next colour my hair should be. I'll be sporting a new hue next week, so tune in to find out what it is. If you want to chat to us on Twitter, we're at Barcroft underscore TV, and of course, subscribe for loads more videos. In the meantime though, I'm off. Take care, Magic Beans. <laughs>